All right, guys, welcome to today's video where we are going to be taking a look at the DinoJet Power Vision 3 for the 2021 Can Am 850 Outlander XMR with Visco 4 lock. So, first thing why you'd want this is to remove the uh, top speed limiter and uh, RPM limiter and also to uh, give it more fuel so that it doesn't run quite as lean because these are leaned out quite a bit from the factory so that is what we're going to be doing so all you got to do is hook this up my first time doing it so if anything goes wrong you guys can watch just pop your seat off here one-handed i already undid this plug for you so right here is normally the plug this plug is plugged in to right here all you do push down on this little clip slide it out All right, so we'll grab the uh, Dino Jet out of here. How it is this little computer-like looking thing. And then your uh, connector cable for it. We'll just set that there for now. And once you've installed the tune, you do not need to leave that plugged in. I see a lot of people wondering and asking about that online, but you don't need to leave it plugged in. So then just grab your uh, diagnostic port here that plugs into your machine, your harness, sorry. Plug that into your PV, PV3, Power Vision 3. And then you just take the other end, plug into the harness right here. Now let's give it power. I just turn on the power switch here. Hit the start button. And there you can see it lit up. So we do have power here, guys. Searching for tune files, no compatible stock files, visit dinojet.com, vvtune. Alright guys, so it looks like our first step is to go in and uh, go to the computer and go to the Dinojet site, load tunes on here, and then we might be able to load them on there. So let's go take a look. Okay guys, so bring your uh, PowerVision 3 in, connect it to your computer. Ignore this little message that says connect to ECU. Um, go to the... DinoJet website and just search for uh, tunes search for DinoJet tunes power vision 3 tunes and it should bring you to this page and then uh, You can select a vehicle or click here to download power vision 3 tunes. So click on this one So you're gonna go to choose file So over here on your computer, you're gonna find your power vision, which is right here double click that Here's PV info open that and that's that file you need to open so you're just going to highlight that select open once you hit submit it'll generate your information down here with your uh, files that you need so then just click both of these this is your tune file here from DinoJet this is your stock file so you click on them and they'll download so then you would just click on your uh, power vision 3 open up your power vision so this is where all your all your tune tune file and stock files are. You take those two files that you downloaded and just drag them right in here to this folder, to your Power Vision folder. So you just put them right up here. Do not do not put them in the PV info file. Just put them right under the main Power Vision, so they're in with your DinoJet uh, tune and stock files. And then once they're transferred into there, then we'll go out and plug this into the bike again. And then guys, uh, if you really want to have some fun, if you download their PowerCore software download, uh, install that on your computer. And then you can come over here and open up their uh, tune files. And then you can actually view like the info um, in the tune files. So vehicle speed limit, rear axle, vehicle speed limit um, based on gear, gear two, gear three, vehicle speed limit based on key, um, rough road detection sensors spark so basically right here this is saying vehicle speed limit is uh, now the top speed is set to uh, 93 miles per hour which for this four-wheeler is plenty fast um, well there you go vehicle speed limit 93 you can click on each of these and see uh, the different stuff here different info 
Um, here's your RPM, rev limiter, limp mode, rev limit by gear. So 8,300 RPMs, rev limit based on ECT. So that's pretty cool. It allows you to just go in and kind of look at a bunch of different stuff. Uh, fuel, you can check out. You can expand or collapse these. So then you go to fuel. Um, alternate target air fuel ratio. 14.01 D cell air fuel ratio. Max requested. So pretty cool software. Um, figure you guys would like seeing that little uh, bit, but that is called the uh, PowerCore software. Just click on this red PowerCore software download. Boom! There you got it. So pair this device to the connected vehicle. Yes. Elite incompatible. So there we go. We're uh, going to be flashing the ECU here. And here we go. Let's write the new one. And I'm just also, uh, so I got my four-wheeler in park, and I'm actually, I got the, the red uh, kill switch on, and I'm just kind of tapping the green button, the start button. I'm not hitting the brake or nothing, but I'm just constantly, every five seconds, tapping that green button so the power stays on. Because you can't have your vehicle running while this is going, and if on these Can-Ams, if you don't hit that green button, they'll automatically power down. So... All right, guys, we're almost there, 97, 98. Come on, little buddy, you can do it. 99, <laughs> just about done. Flash complete. Sweet, we're done. Excellent, guys. Let's go uh, try this bugger out and see what our top suite is now. All right, guys, we are going to go try out the... Uh... The new Dino Jet tune on the 2021 Outlander XMR. Uh, before top speed was like 65 stop from the uh, from the factory. So let's go see what we can get up to on this one. Alright hey guys, we got the Outlander nice and warm. Um, let's go for a top speed run, see what we can hit. guys just finished up the top speed run with the new power vision 3 from dino jet and all i gotta say is yeah that uh, definitely removes the top speed restriction performance key there we go right there top speed 81 miles an hour so 81 miles an hour guys in the winter time in the cold <laughs> i'd say i'd say for the stock power vision 3 that's uh, pretty darn good that ain't nothing to complain about right there. So, there you have it. Hope you liked the video, guys. Favorite, like, share, and subscribe. Ooh, check out those headlights. Man, those are nice.
Those are my new LED headlights too, guys. I got a video coming on them, super short. I mean like super quick. Got a video coming on the LED headlights. Let me know if you like them. Uh, let me know if you like the channel, guys. I hope you like the new content. I'm trying to do what I can. Don't have a ton of good trails like uh, Diego and Braden and them down where they're at. All I got is frozen freaking tundra. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not tundra, but uh, yeah, I just got cold up here. So anyway, all right, guys. Hope you like the video. Uh, Dino Jet Power Vision 3. Check it out if you're interested. I'm going to go uh, park this bugger. <laughs> I think I need to get an exhaust too. I got one coming. Got a HMF Performance Series. I can't wait till that gets here. And then uh, probably get a tune from uh, MSA and see if that can uh, boost up that top speed a little more or see what their tune does for it. Ah, one other thing, 81 miles an hour. I mean, for a big, heavy four-wheeler like this, that is really impressive. Like, I ride dirt bikes all the time too. and. Uh, my dirt bike will go over, over 100 miles an hour, about 103, 104 miles an hour. Uh, but to do to do 80, 80 some miles an hour on a big mud machine, um, that's ridiculous. For the most part, uh, probably not ever going to need that top speed, not unless you're just screwing around. But trail riding, stuff like that, um, hitting 65, stuff like that. Uh, That'd be pretty common, I would think. So 50s, 60s, but depends on how hard you ride, what type of trails you have too. But it's always nice just to have your machines unlocked from the factory so they're not actually limited. I hate when any of my machines are limited from the factory. So that's what the uh, Power Vision 3 will do for you. Give you better uh, air fuel ratio, um, have your fan kick in so it doesn't get as hot either. Um, yeah, just help your bike run richer and not uh, quite as lean as they are from the factory. So, so stay tuned to the channel, guys, and yeah, we will catch you next time.